<laughs> and now, Chris, we know you from a lot of your dramatic roles. Um, but what was it about this role, uh, going into the comedy background? Did you have a, big, a lot of comedy background? Did you have um, any sort of experience? And what was it about this role that really made you want to take it? I'm so sorry. Can we just address what a badass he is in his leather jacket? <laughs> with his beer. He's got his I'm so sorry, Rob. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Can you answer the question? You want me to answer the question as you? Yeah. All right, what was the question? Can you answer it like Why did he yeah. want to go into comedy? Oh, well, I never really wanted to do comedy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't do, I do movies where I get naked and I shake. <laughs> so I don't want to do. I'm not funny. I'm not a funny guy. <laughs> I'm not funny. You know, I, I grew up on a diet of Pacino and Hoffman, you know, those guys. <laughs> but then this beautiful genius, she's a genius. <laughs> she, she puts these words in my mouth. And I, just, I say them, and I think they're pretty good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love you. I love you more than I've said to my family. Yes, it's every day. I love you, I love you. I love you, I love you. Everyone too, from Mindy to the guy that runs the craft service table to people walking by your office. Hey, how you doing, sweetheart? I love you. That's a, <laughs> you know you've been on a set with Christmas Christmasina has acted on if everyone's saying I love you. I love you so much. I'm going to the bathroom, I love you. I love you. <laughs> I'll be right back, I'll Never be right forget back. that I love you. <laughs> what was the question? Never said yeah. <laughs> I think I'll just ask, Chris, do you agree or disagree? I agree, I agree totally with what, what, what I said. No. Can I just give a little anecdote about Chris? Yeah. He yeah. is, Chris insisted for a long time that he wasn't funny. And it was crazy, because he's so funny. So in funny. Way that, like, in my mind, he reminds me of like George C. E. Scott in... Um, a hilarious comic actor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's and Dr. Funny. Strange will be so funny. Oh, he is great. Dr. But like to have this guy who's like hyper masculine and like olive skin, every woman I've ever met from like 7 to 80 and asked what his deal is. <laughs> <laughs> and like, but he's just so funny. And as like the character, we get to know the character more. He's just so. Yeah. It's... And you've gotten really into physical stuff now. Yeah, I was just uh, in a Speedo in Long Beach. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say that? Yeah. yeah. At first, yeah, he's like, yeah, I don't, you know, I don't want to look too dumb, you know? I don't want to look, I don't want to, you know? And now, like, now, like, we have him, like, nude. Like, tell him what you're doing today. Tell, tell him what you're doing. I was, uh, so today we were uh, shooting in Long Beach. We were shooting there for the last three days, uh, and I was wrestling with Mark Duplass at place. <laughs> Midwife, yeah, Mark Duplass, he's amazing. And uh, I had a Speedo on, and he had a one-piece uh, Singlet, swim. like a singlet. Singlet, yeah. yeah. And we were wrestling, and then, then he begins to stretch me. So you could maybe. But like, not Ex just, explain, not, explain what that yeah, is. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, <laughs> elaborate on he begins to stretch me. They need some glossy. They weren't, they weren't as much stretching as they were mashing their genitals together. They yes. were. Yeah. That's accurate. That's what we're it was. That's yeah. No, that's what it was. It was an indie movie genital mashup. Yes. Yeah. They're submitting it to Sundance? Yes. Yeah. It got in, by the way. Got in. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So, I mean, Chris, or, um, Danny is such like a, a Jersey guy, you know, he's, he kind of is polar opposite of all these like cool young hip people in the office. Mm. Is that? That's nice. Sure. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> however, however, we have seen some cool aspects come out, like his dancing. Okay. And, yeah. and his piano playing. Now, was that something that you brought to them or did they write that for you? Uh, well, the dancing, my mom was a dance teacher when I was a kid. So uh, she, uh, I wanted to take karate, and she's like, no, you go to dancing school. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so but that was the end of the discussion. That was it. Italian. Well, that's yeah. good, because nothing yeah. fends off bullies more than dancing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I got my ass kicked throughout uh, junior high because of it. But, uh, but I loved it. I wanted to be uh, Barishnikov for a while. And then, uh, so then these guys, I, I guess I maybe told them the story, and, and they, they were nice enough to put it on the show. I was very scared to do it, but uh, I had a lot of fun doing it. The piano playing, I, both Danny and I are terrible at it. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's just something that they brought to the character. Will we see more dancing soon? Tonight, know. tonight. After party. <laughs>
The after party is at Christmas. A couple more house. of these. <laughs> he lives in Santa Monica. I'll give you the address in the lobby. <laughs>